Hello, it is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday puzzle and I'm expecting it to be maybe on the challenging side today, even for a Saturday, because we have had, I think, some, uh, I would say yesterday was um, maybe a bit of a bit less of a challenge than a Friday typically is, although it was an it was an excellent puzzle and a very fitting fit, fitting puzzle to its day. Um, but anyway, we'll just have to see. Uh, today's edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Camtron, Christina, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to join their ranks and get access to The Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses coffee mug, or tea mug, or whatever you'd like to put in it, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And of course, if you back the Patreon at any level, you get access to the full panoply of um, bonus video solves that have gone up on that channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So yesterday I put up the most recent uh, week of mini puzzle speed solves. I've recorded the Boss Words Spring uh, themeless competition puzzle for this week, and that will go up within a few hours of this one going up. So it, it may be up by the time you, you see this video, in fact. And uh, it was a good one for me. <laughs> I was very pleased. I um, did it in a better time than usual and I didn't get any I didn't get any uh, answers incorrect. So that was uh, a relief. <laughs> and it means it was the video was less than half the length of last week. So if that was a uh, deterrent to you, then enjoy. Enjoy this one. And let's see. Um, I would like to also do another Constructor's Corner uh roundup of community created crosswords. So if you have some of those that you've submitted in the Constructors Corner channel in the Daily Solve Discord chat server and you'd like to, and you're considering it ready for public consumption, do move it over to the um, the other channel, the, uh, the Constructors Corner. I actually don't remember what it's called. <laughs> it is the Constructors Corner Complete channel. Uh, and I will be drawing the video, the uh, crosswords for the videos from there. And also, if you just like to solve some puzzle, if you are just interested in solving some of these crosswords created by members of the community, the Constructors Corner Complete channel is where these public, these published uh, crosswords go. So, all right, let's, oh, and one more thing. This is off topic relative to crosswords, but um, if you are, if you do happen, <laughs> there might be, might be very little overlap between this audience, between these two potential audiences, but if you are interested in a copy of the Firewatch uh, soundtrack, the, Fire, the Firewatch original soundtrack on vinyl record that is on sale currently from my Bandcamp camp site as well as other uh, retailers. So I will put a link to where you can find more information about that in the uh, in a link in, in the description field, where you can also find a link to the Patreon campaign and how to join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. So. All of that will be there. And if I somehow forget any of it, please bother me in the comments. I'm very sorry in advance. All right. Um, I think that's it. Let's move on to today's to today's crossword. So as I, I didn't say, actually, this is by Kyle Dolan, who has constructed um, somewhere around a dozen crosswords, a little more than that, maybe. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get going. It was a long preamble today, so no more delay. Office held five times by Julius Caesar. Um, this is going to be really, it's going to be very annoying when I see it because I'll be annoyed at myself for not having remembered the name of this office in question. Offering for a developer. It could be a lot. Oh, console. There we go. Okay. Roman console. I just needed, needed one letter to jog my memory there. It, uh, it was recently the um, Ides of March, the anniversary of Caesar's assassination. Anyway, it runs up the arm, the ulna, the bone. Inverse functions. So something dealing with a verse of a poem or a song, perhaps? Probably ends in an S. They're tops to Scots. So this would be, I'm presuming this will be a tam a or a hat. Tams. Let's see if that gives us any crosses. Setting for drinks and deals. Counters? No. So I was thinking bar counters for drinks and then maybe, I don't know, some kind of card playing counter. I don't know. 
Um, it could be any number of different sorts of counters, I suppose, or de- sorry, deals is what I meant to say. It could be different t- sorts of deals. It could be a business deal. It could be um, dealt a hand of cards. Met someone. So met, met's one of those things that means many things. It means uh, the Metropolitan Police, the uh, London Police Force. It means the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. It means in this, what I think it means in this case, which is the uh, Metropolitan Opera in New York. Um, and probably many, many other things, but I'm guessing because of this O and the A and how they're positioned, it's the Metropolitan Opera. Opera what? Sorry if that's very, very clear to you. Uh, what about this? Program commemorated on the back of the Eisenhower dollar coin. It must be the Apollo space program. Inverse functions. What is that? Sorry. Sorry. Policy around the publicity side, shy say no interviews, no requests, no questions, <clears throat> no photos. What is it? Withdraw, or it could be non something. Withdraw. Recant? You could recant a statement. Setting for drinks and deals. Oh, no comment. There we go. You might say that. I couldn't possibly comment. Word with club or queen. Inverse functions. Why am I not seeing what these things are? Sorry, I'm just looking down at my keyboard to (laughs) remind myself of the letters of the alphabet. Um, Inverse functions. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is very frustrating to many of you. Uh, what about this? Grow up. Hmm. So not age. Very nearly resemble. Look like or seem like maybe. Allure. An aura or something. Picked up. Hmm. Inferred. Gathered, I suppose picked up could be metaphorically or literally. Literally, so speaking of literally, literally substitute. And uh, Laura, let's just keep going through the crossword. Not physically, say mentally. And that fits. Flushes, e.g., in poker. Um, and faulty prefix. Well, that looks like dis to me. Is in dysfunctional. Tor, okay, that D is is appropriate because Tor is in the past. Um, the effort of appearing effortlessly, sorry, the art of appearing effortlessly, effortless, effortlessly nonchalant. Uh, I don't know, savoir faire, I'm not sure. Where the cheese stands alone in a classic song. Is it the Dell? It's from the farmer in the Dell, right? Uh, that blank love thee, Caesar. Oh, tis true. As we have another Caesar reference. Um, not doing brilliantly right now, am I? Campaign fundraising letters. This is probably a United States political reference to PAC, a political action committee. That's my guess. Do some wedding planning. And preposterous. Stuff but not junk. Lug. Could be lug meaning carry or drag, or it could be lug a an oaf, a sort of clumsy person. Color not generated by light. Is it magenta? No. There was something some thing that was going around a couple of years ago, how, how magenta isn't real, which obviously I don't think makes sense if you frame it that way, but that was sort of how it was being spread. But it was something about how magenta doesn't exist in nature or something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, color not generated by light. Livened up. Jazzed up. It started in 1964 as Blue Ribbon Sports. No idea. 
Salvo from Old Ironsides. A cannonade? Were there, were there cannons on Old Ironsides? That sounds like a ship. Or it could be someone's name, so it could be some kind of rant. Because there's a general, right? Old Ironsides. 2019 World Series winners, winner in brief. I don't know. Veronica Blank, author of the Divergent Trilogy. Also have no idea. Expert with picks. A guitarist. What other sorts of expert with picks? It would be someone who chooses something. Blank chai, Indian beverage, masala chai. One to twelve. Abbreviation. Is this referring to first to twelfth grade in the United States educational system? I'm not sure. Eventually. Muscle connectors, tendons or sinews. Digital job in brief. Mm. Up now, risen, I suppose. If you're awake, you're up now, you're risen. Acts of will. Oh. Acts of will. A state law. There we go. So your will, your last will and testament, your um, defining what will be done with your estate after your death. So World Series winner, the Nat, is there Nat, the Nationals? Is that sounds like a team. Uh, Sci-fi effects that are beyond stunning. Beyond stunning. Death rays? So, in other words, not a sort of stun gun, but rather a death ray. I bet that's what that is. This is actually all looking all right. I'm very sort of pleased and surprised about Canonot, if that turns out to be true. Um, oh, expert with picks is a miner, someone who uh, mines with a pickaxe. There we go. Digital job in brief. Now, what is this? I don't really know. Eventually, one day. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> Digital meaning your fingers. Yes, the digits of your hand. So a manicure, a mani as in mani petty. And then, oh, one to 12 abbreviation months. Okay, fair enough. 12 months in the year. Probably should have thought of that first. That is the more obvious. I guess that and hours of the day would be the other obvious one. Um, I guess we'd, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't get there. But that's fine. Midwife's focus, it's funny, I saw this NTA and I thought, oh, maybe that color is magenta after all, but one, it's the wrong number of letters and it's the wrong clue entirely. Midwife's focus in the third stage of labor. Uh, placenta. Uh, many human anatomy students, many human anatomy students. <laughs> Are there non-human, or oh, I see, students of human anatomy, sorry, Okay. I read that incorrectly, as maybe I was intended to initially. I don't know. Pre-meds, pre, uh, students who are intending to attend medical school, so they're pre-med. Mastering the art of French cooking, for one. That's a tome, I suppose. That's Julia Child, right? And source of st some nostalgia. Place, a sense of place. Institution roughly two millennia old. The Catholic Church? Would it simply be church? Livened up. Not sure about that. Church seems a little too generic for that. Because obviously there are many other churches that are not that age. Um, source of some nostalgia. Right, I saw that already. So my phone is just going, going nuts. Okay. Um, unlikely to pontificate, say... Stoical, that doesn't fit. Um, I suppose that's sort of the opposite in a way. Uh, anything. Orange candle flower, for instance. I don't know. Organization with clubs in two senses. PGA, Professional Golf Association, because there are golf clubs and also golf clubs. <laughs> if you see what I mean, they're the, uh, the ones you use to hit the ball and then the ones you, at which you play golf. Some ribbons and shells. And herbalists' panaceas. Kanji, e.g. This is a uh, a sort of 
thick sort of a porridge, a gruel maybe you could call it. I wonder if that's what that's getting at. So rice, rice porridge. Coming in waves in a way. And barrier against burrowers. A, a gate or, not sure, a wall. Match. Could be a game or it could be um, to copy something to do the equivalent. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, um, let's see. What have we... I'm worried... Oh, uh, yeah, there are things I've not yet seen. Okay, so Gloucester Catch. So I don't know if this... Sometimes when you see... I've said this before, but sometimes when you see um, a place name like this, it will mean um, you're you're using a, a, a bit of dialect or slang or language from the place in re being referenced. So I don't know. This might mean slang that would be used in the UK or in England. Um, Gloucester Catch. I don't know if there's a particular kind of fish caught in Gloucester in particular. Uh, stuff but not junk. The art of appearing effortlessly nonchalant. So what is that? Boy, I'm not sure. Uh, capital of ancient Persia. Oh, this is annoying. Why can't I remember this? Ah, that's very frustrating. In an elegant way. Probably ends in L-Y. It'll be an adverb. Does that help with either of these? Color not generated by light. Not sure. Lug. Well, it could be schlep. If it's lug as in carry something around. Does that help here? Okay, well, it's not church. That's good that I removed that. Or that would have kept me from getting schlep, actually. Institution roughly two millennia old. Um. Oh, the papacy. Yes, yeah, sorry. I kept thinking Pope related because that would be more that would be specific to the Catholic Church. And then, yes, it's the papacy, the, inst the, the seat, the institution. Okay, so livened up, spiced up. There we go. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, sushi Chef's Tasting Menu. Oh, I didn't see this clue. If I had, I would have known it was omakase, a uh, tasting menu, menu at a sushi restaurant. And then it started in 1964 as Blue Ribbon Sports. Oh, is it Nike? Or Nike here in the UK, as it's generally said? Uh, color not generated by light. I don't know. Tan? I don't know. Uh, canny. If you're canny, you're sort of, you know, you have good intuition, that sort of thing. Source of some nostalgia. Olive? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, an oldie, an old song. Okay. Dazzling skill. Wizardry. There we go. Canny. Oh, some street smart. There we go. All right, this is all coming together. Color not generated by light. Oh, is it actually some sort of tan? That's funny. What about this? Anything. Name it. There we go. This is all happening. Unlikely to pontificate, say. Um, what, you're hasty? You're... Uh, and here, once again, the art of appearing effortlessly nonchalant. Something... Shun. Whatever you say. And short hooking pitch. Must be, I assume that's a baseball thing. Herbalist panaceas. Um. Uh, what about this? Allure. Draw. Right. Okay. You have an allure. You have a draw. Submitted, sent in. Oh, spray tan. <laughs> I see. A spray tan as opposed to 
a natural tan or a tan from a tanning bed with a you know UV light or whatever it is. So there we go. That's very clever. That's a clever clue. Um, oh, this looks like scrod, maybe. I mean, that is a fish. Stuff, but not junk. Save, you stuff something in a chest. Doesn't sound right at all. Uh, stuff, but not junk. I mean, does it mean stuff as a verb? Whereas junk, I guess junk could be a verb as well, actually. But it, would, it's a, it has a very different meaning. Whereas as nouns, they're at least somewhat closer in meaning. Very nearly resemble. Could end in of. What is this? Looks odd. N R N. This seems like something might be wrong here. Picked up. Not sure about this. Some something here I think is wrong. Maybe maybe both are wrong. I don't know. Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? Word with club or queen. Um, preposterous. I don't think I've seen this, actually. What, have I seen this? Do some winning. Oh, I did see that. I don't remember seeing preposterous. And where the cheese stands alone, right? Where 23 down was coined. Oh, interesting. I wonder what that means. Um, it flushes, e.g., in poker. That. That I did love thee, Caesar. Oh, tis true that. That I did love thee, Caesar. Oh, tis true. Yeah, okay. Sorry. When I when I try and infer a Shakespearean line, I always try and then do the make sure that it works iambically because I suppose not always, but almost always Shakespeare's lines are in iambic pentameter. So the I, I am is the is the unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable, and so you have those in sequence. So that I did love thee, Caesar. Oh, tis true. I mean, that's horrible delivery, obviously, but it just, it, you know, it gives you the, the, the meter and the cadence. Um, and so there are five I am's in that line. Uh, and that would just mean that, you know, if I'd picked words that didn't, where the stress didn't work that way, it would be less likely to be correct. Okay. Do some wedding planning. Why do I not see what this is? Preposterous. Oh, farcical. There we go. That looks right. Tor raced. Tor is in sped. Okay. Um, this looks like Italy. Oh, oh. Sprezzatura. The art of appearing effortlessly nonchalant. I think that's what that is. Okay. Boy, I would not have remembered that without the uh, Italy, without inferring that it was coined in Italy. Okay. So sprezzatura, yeah. So we have so many fewer words in English borrowed from Italian, so much more commonly borrowed from French, which makes sense, obviously, given the um, incredibly uh, close and intertwined relationship between um, Britain and France. Well, England and France, and then Britain and France over many centuries. Um, but yeah, few, fewer of these from from, Italy, from Italian. So my brain just wasn't, just was not going there. In fact, even my, the first thing I thought, savoir faire, was that, it was of course, ob obviously also a French phrase. Okay, literally substitute ersatz. There we, no. Oh, so no comment is the one that's wrong. Wow, look at that. Maybe Tam is wrong. Ersatz, substitute. Okay, boy, that really, that no comment really threw me off. That is a shame. No wonder that was, this area seemed so incorrect. So submitted is sent in and I bet Allure is draw. Ah, I thought one of these would, was the one that was, that was wrong, but no, I was the one that was wrong. Very nearly resemble. Border on. Okay. Oh, see, it's all coming together now. What a shame. Picked up and setting for drinks and deal, drinks and deals. Um, well, picked up is learned. 
met someone, opera goer, there we go, someone who attends the Metropolitan Opera. So what is this? Policy around the publicity shy, say. I'm very surprised that isn't no comment. Um, no cameras. Aha. Okay, fair enough. So maybe I guess this is Tams and Drama Club or Drama Queen. And no wonder, again, I couldn't get that because of this. Oh, I kept thinking Aroma Queen. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, card table. There we have it. So sure, you could have a drink at the card table, I guess. Grow up is to age. The most obvious one it could have been. I cannot believe it took me this long to get rid of no comment. That is infuriating. What a what a terrible play that was. Okay. Um, in an elegant way. Neatly. Stuffed but not junk. Oh, oh, to, oh, you're stuffed. You're sated. Okay, that does actually work. Oh, Isfahan, not physically say, in spirit, do some wedding planning, set a date. Yeah, it is Isfahan. Okay, I wish I would have remembered that earlier. Capital of ancient Persia. Sorry about that. Um, do some wedding planning, set a date, flushes Eugene. Oh, very clever. Wow. I was on the wrong track entirely here. I was trying to rely on my extremely minimal poker knowledge, but in fact, I was on the wrong track. I wasn't, it's not describing a hand, a royal flush. It's describing a flushed face, which might be a tell, indicating that you're being dishonest. And the cheese does indeed stand alone in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Okay. Um, well, I'm glad to have, 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 have all that cleared out finally. So some ribbons and shells. And coming in waves in a way. Barrier against burrowers. Match. Orange candle flower, for example. Whatever you say. Short hooking pitch. Boy, I'm not saying anything. Herbalist panaceas. Aloe veras. Ah, of course. No, never mind. <laughs> it's not that at all. Sorry. Uh, I was thinking, ah, the classic New York Times plant, but no, it's not that. Some ribbons and shells. What is that? Oh, pasta. Pasta, sorry. Um, you know, ribbons such as fettuccine would be a ribbon pasta, and you could have shells. Um, you know, they look like little shells, pasta. Um, okay, there we go. Pasta shapes. Coming in waves, in a way. And what is this orange candle flower? I don't know what that is. Whatever you say. Sh oh, sure, sure. There we go. I just needed one more letter to get to get that in there. So sure, sure, sure. Short hooking pitch. Don't think I'm going to get what this is. Um, ten something. That uh, doesn't look right. Oh, all cure-alls, all cures, all heals. I don't think I'm familiar with the phrase all heals, but presumably it just has an identical meaning to cure-alls. Oh, so if one is unlikely to pontificate amoral, so you're not pontificating a, about a moral decision because you're not concerned with the morality of it. I see. Okay, so that's... I, I think I was looking for something that was more directly, more literally defined by unlikely to pontificate, but it's really important to notice here that it has this say, which means this would be an example of where this might apply, as opposed to meaning this clue actually defines the answer. I mean, amoral doesn't mean unlikely to pontificate. Those things are not synonyms, or one does not define the other. But unlikely to pontificate, say, means imagine a situation in which one might be unlikely to pontificate, well, perhaps if one is amoral, that, that's that's basically what that say means. And I did not take it into account at all, much to my own uh, detriment. Match C, as in, in a, um, a poker game or something, it, when you're, when you're uh, flushing. So match a bet C, I think is what that means. Barrier against burrowers. Oh, mesh. You could have mesh underground to prevent burrowing, but, but still allow 
you know, roots to grow and that sort of thing. Coming in waves. Oh, oral sound waves? So what is this? Orange candleflower is an arum. That must be a group of plants or a, you know, a genus or something, a family, something like that. And then short hooking pitch tease rad. Okay, well, I don't feel at all bad about not getting that because I have definitely never heard that phrase before and it's correct. Let's admire the puzzle. So yes, I've, I've never heard of a tease rad. Oh no, it's not. It's not a, sorry. It's a teaser ad. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm a complete fool. <laughs> a teaser ad. So once again, I got so, I really, really thought this was going to be a baseball thing. And I'm sure that was an intentional bit of misdirection, but I probably fell for it for much longer than, uh, than the constructor expected someone to be. I can't believe that. Sorry. It's a, it's a teaser ad. It is a pitch for a film, a short one that hopefully hooks you quickly. Ah, ridiculous. I'm very sorry. Ah, just, just absurd. Anyway, what a mess this, this bottom of the puzzle was for me. Although uh, nothing matches the mess that was created by no comment, which was just a complete disaster. And in the, in the way that tends to produce that kind of disaster, there was at least one cross that fit very cleanly here with the uh, Scots tops, Tams, Tamishanters that fit with the M. And so that gave me just enough of a, um, just enough of a, of a, of an in that I didn't think it was uh, needed to be revisited. That was just the worst. And then as soon as I realized it wasn't no comment, even before I knew what it was, just getting rid of no comment allowed me to fill in much of the grid. Anyway, I did, I did, I think, find this to be on the, on the more challenging side. I don't know if that's because of my repeated uh, mistakes and misinterpretations or because it was maybe a bit more difficult to compensate for yesterday's. I think maybe a bit of both. But let me know how you fared. And um, today, today we do have, uh, well, we have one correction from, from yesterday. Um, and from two people. So uh, two people wrote in to explain more precisely, the uh, definition of a solution, which came up in yesterday's puzzle, is a puzzle of four solutions, as you may recall, plus another one. And uh, my, uh, Michelle McBride Charpentier explains a solution can be any state. It doesn't have to be a liquid, but it does have to be in a single state, all liquid or all solid or all gas. There are actually five solutions in the puzzle if you wait for the Slurpee to melt. Uh, sugar water is a solution, but slurpy syrup blended with ice isn't until it melts and all becomes the same state, liquid. Bice Dibley points out that another example of a solution would be AIDS, um, A-D-E-S as in lemonade or limeade, which also came up in the puzzle yesterday. So we're up to six solutions in yesterday's puzzle. Quite impressive. And uh, Rick Natali also comments, um, uh, pointing out some of the same information, but with some more examples. A solution is simply a mixture of two or more substances. Solutions are often, but not always, liquid. Air is a gaseous solution of nitrogen and oxygen, and perhaps other elements or compounds like water. Metallic alloys are also solutions. So very, very interesting. And thank you for that context. I was sort of fumbling around. Uh, oh, and I, I think um, I did at least correctly mention that a solute is uh, part of a, a solution. So you'd have a, um, a solute uh, within a solvent. Anyway, uh, that was that. That was the only thing that came up in the comments uh, to address eh, anything that needed correction or additional context from yesterday's puzzle. So thank you, to, uh, as always, to those of you who leave comments to that effect. And that's it for today's puzzle. I will be back, of course, tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle. Should be Longer than this one, but probably not quite as difficult. That tends to be how it goes. Wednesday or Thursday level difficult difficulty on Sunday, but without the, the wackiness of the Thursday theme generally. And that's about it. So thank you so much for joining me. Do subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so. And uh, recommend it to a friend if you think you know somebody who might enjoy it. Uh, with that, I'm off. I hope to see you again uh, for the Sunday puzzle. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care.